Welcome back, guys. I'm Gene. And this is Steph. And this is another little short episode for you guys. Uh, the ones we're titling DVD, DVD CDs. CDs. Nice to be Charlie's Angels. So, uh, in between, giving y'all a, a rundown of stuff we're watching on streaming, as well as a music peek. So, you know, I hope you got the gist by now. If not, once again, this is DVD, DVD CDs. Master CDs, Charlie's Angels. Angel, uh, today we'll be talking about... Uh, I apologize for jumping straight into it. Steph, are you doing fine today? You feeling well? I'm well. Okay. I just I, for the listeners. I'm feeling well. I'm looking well. I know this I know you guys see me. I'm freshly twist. <laughs> I got a lot of places to be. I got buku places to be, yeah. I just throw that out there. Listeners, I know you're missing this. You should tune in. We're on YouTube at Let's View It Again Pod, I think. What's her name? What's her name? Let's I think it's just let let's view it again. At symbol, let's view it again. And look for two beautiful faces and it'll be us. Anyway, jumping into it because Steph wants me to wrap it up in 15 minutes today. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna uh this is one we we've both been watching. Uh they recently wrapped. It's a Hulu um exclusive. And I think it may be going to ABC. Did you read that? No, I haven't read that. I think was so. That a recent development. I, I believe it was. Um, I mean, how they gonna go to ABC? It's. I'm not sure, but I do think Just they're gonna start airing. The content. Uh, yeah. If you don't know, if you hadn't read the the beginning or the title of the show, we're gonna be talking about uh, Reasonable Doubt on Hulu. Right now, it's a Hulu exclusive. Um, like I said, I do believe I saw that they're gonna move to network TV or going to air this season that's that we're about to talk about on network. So I'm guessing okay. they're just going to edit it down. Um, it's the brainchild of um, Ramallah Muhammad as well as, what's my girl's name? Kerry Washington. Uh, she's an executive producer on it. That Ramallah Muhammad also was a writer on Little Files Everywhere as well as Scandal. Okay. So I'm assuming that's where their connection come in. Uh, Larry Wilmore is also one of the uh, EPs on the show. I know you know the guy from uh, he did Black Lady Sketch Show I think no I think he, he did uh, Insecure with Issa the older black guy from um, The Daily Show Will Moore okay yeah uh, so he's an EP on his well it's a couple other names but those are the big names uh, so they go back yeah so I'm assuming they just teamed up yet again but uh, give us a, a little synopsis of the show yeah um, this is from IMDB Pretty straightforward without giving you all the details so you have something to look forward to. But Jack Stewart struggles, excuse me, Jack Stewart (laughs) juggles work, family, friends, and a complicated personal life as a brilliant and fearless defense attorney in Los Angeles who bucks the justice system every chance she gets. Yeah. Very complicated. Verily. I mean, she struggles as well as juggles. Uh, Yes. (laughs) The lead is, uh, what you said, Jack Stewart. Is a steward. Mm-hmm. This played by Emma Yatse uh, Coronalde. She's probably best known from Hand of God. That was a prime show or Ballers. Everybody knows the HBO show. Uh, she was, I, I, I believe her first movie was that Ava DuVernay movie, Middle of Nowhere. You know, we saw that. It's like a little independent film. Uh, got awards every Sunday. I think we saw it like at a, one of those little artsy uh, theaters. We oh, were on a bohemian uh, vibe at that time. Was the, the what's the guy from Power? Was he in? Yes, yeah. Omari Hard- I think Hardwick. Was New yeah, 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 yeah. So that I think that's the first time I saw. Her. Okay. Uh, McKinley Fre- Freeman plays her husband Lewis. He's probably best known from Queen Sugar. Yeah, they just wrapped up. Uh, and Sean Patrick Thomas from Say the Last Dance. Also, he's the guy she's defending in this whole thing. Uh, the music is pretty good. Uh, it's done by Ali Sh- Shahid Muhammad as well as Adrian Young. Adrian Young is a hip hop. Well, not I take that back. He's a jazz type producer. He did the uh, score for Luke Cage as well. And Black Dynamite, one of my favorite movies. This definitely get reviewed on Let's View It Again one of these days. But he did the score for that. Uh, Ali, she- Ali Shaheed Muhammad is from A Tribe Called Quest, for those who know. He does scores and stuff now. He still produces. Uh, so they did the, the music for the oh, okay. show. Uh, I guess we can get into... Uh, you told the synopsis, but we can get into a... Uh, oh, well, I guess another main character. You had Michael Ely. Oh, uh, how did I forget about <laughs> Michael Ely? Oh, uh, yes, the light skin <laughs> uh rap scallion Villain. Michael Ely. 
makes an appearance. He makes an appearance um, probably half of the season, but I'm not going to give it away. Uh, but he's his typical fan. What's the movie when he was the, the crazy guy? Yeah, his character reminds me. I think it was Perfect Stranger yes, with Sonali, Thin and Morris. That guy, Chestnut. again, not yeah. to give it away. But uh, yeah, he's he seemed to be back to being a villain, playing that ca- villainous that same character. character. <laughs> yeah, a uh, villainous, uh, beautiful eyed, <laughs> a beautiful eyed villain. He's such an evil spirit. But anyway, um, what you like? I like the music. Yeah, I said that. Uh, the overall theme of the show is a very um. Shows a different side of black Los Los Angelinos. I guess is that the word I'm looking for? Los Angelinos. Los Angelino. <laughs> so it shows another side of that because uh Jacks, uh they they are in Los Angeles, they're in California, but they uh she's a defense attorney, so it shows that that side her husband works in some kind of tech capacity, I'm not sure. So yeah, we get that. So I I kinda I like that aspect of it. Um, it gave you loops. It kept you kind of guessing. You know, it, it it's a who done it. So it's um Yeah, it has plenty of drama. You got murder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got, yeah. Uh, infidelity and a lot of internal conflict. So you get a little some bit of, of it warranted, thing. some of it not. It's kinda <laughs> like, okay, Jax. Emma Yatsi, B, let's be serious. Uh, <laughs> you bringing a lot of stuff on yourself. But I I, I don't I mean, it was um we're, we're recommending it. Obviously, we're putting it on DVD, DVD CDs, Master P, Charlie's Angel. So we're Master recommending Charles it. Angel, uh, Angel, if not only, just it gives uh, another, like I said, another view, uh, positive, well, what I say positive, a different view of blackness, um, a black show, typical black show. So it, it get, lets us be, you know, in the criminal justice system. It's a, it's a crime drama uh, that's mainly, most of the stars, I don't think any white people show up. Or other there's an Asian guy who works at the at the firm, but other than uh, that, it's mostly Jax's black. Partner. Oh yeah, that white guy. There's there's one white guy, oh. but and I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm you know just like you but you're focused on yeah on on black, black characters, black which you like. Oh, this is nice yeah. to see. Uh, so we're recommended in their capacity. Obviously, it, it hits its snags. Um, yeah, the it has good good actors. Like yes, they can act. But like you said, the snags for me, it's the writing, some of the writing and the wigs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they have beautiful outfits in the wardrobe, but the hair, I mean, the guy, obviously, all the guys' hair in every yeah, show is always you know, good. They so had it's low haircuts, you know, nothing that required a lot of maintenance. But it's just, it's 2022. 20, I, I don't know why we're wearing these stiff wigs. It, <laughs> maybe just because I'm a woman or I just I, I just noticed that. I don't know. I know, you know, no, they guys love, are in the beauty industry Yeah, they love Jax with that same curly wig for It was curly 12, or the straight bob. Uh, looking like uh, Anton Chigua <laughs> from No Country Out for All Men. That's, they gave her yeah. that wig. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I would agree. Uh, the snag would be the writing. It was kind of like, I don't know if it's the writing or the, or the actors, but it's stiff like that wig. See how I did that? <laughs> it's stiff at times, and it doesn't... Uh, and we've discussed this uh, between ourselves. When me and you are talking, and if we have to code switch, <laughs> it flows naturally. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, I can be talking like you. You know, I'm talking to you like this. Whop the blase, blase, whoop the woo. You know what I'm saying? Top, top, bop, bop. Then I can always come back to this. And it's simple. It doesn't... They don't seem to make that switch naturally. I don't yeah. know if the ca- I don't know if the the actors are. Uh, I don't want to question anyone's blackness, far be it from me. But I don't know if they were brought up in predominantly black areas, neighborhoods, and stuff, because it comes natural when you are in it. You know. Yeah, it, it seemed like they were trying to uh, drive home these characters who are in the professional world but also in tune you know with black culture and so they yeah. try to code switch like you said it, it was still I, and i think it and, it, uh, it goes into a lot of writers these days using language and parlance that they pick up online mm. 
online speak doesn't necessarily flow well if you hadn't heard it before. Mm -hmm. So they read a lot of this stuff that they see people type online and then they try to bring it into, they do it on Insecure as well. It's corny because it's like your show should inform it, it shouldn't your your show shouldn't be informed by what's happening online or or out in the street. You know, you it should you should be in it and be able to speak to it versus I saw somebody write this and like I say for a black Los Angeles uh Los, Los Angelino or whatever, they have their own speak. You don't have to speak like the people you saw on Twitter or or Facebook or whatever. Which are from everywhere. From everywhere else. Mm -hmm. Like these people don't talk like that. And we say that a lot about shows when you make uh your city or town a character it should yeah. be reflected in in everything not just say oh we're in los angeles and show no other part of los angeles culture yeah but um but that's not to gripe on it, it you know it, it, yeah, it, 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 it has sense. those parts where you're like yeah but <laughs> for the most part like i said it has plenty of drama plenty of conflict i think they do a good job of i guess you could say kind of keep it kind of keeping you on your toes there are some flashbacks I don't always like flashbacks just because I feel like sometimes writers put them um, in there to fill space. True. But I, it's still a uh, a device, you know, like you use it in books. It's a literary device. Like it's not just something you throw in there. There's a reason for it in books. I think sometimes it gets lost when it comes to shows and movies. Like it's a real device. You, I guess you got to know how to use it still. Yeah. It's not just something to just To be throw used effectively versus fill out like, hey, we have 10 episodes to make. Let's make one. The flashback one, episode. Yeah, <laughs> and everybody does it. One episode is going to be a flashback for sure. Um, yeah. So we recommend uh, um, Reasonable it a doubt. Uh, like I said, it's on Hulu. You may be able to catch it on ABC coming soon. I don't know. Check apps. It's everything streaming. Still it if you have to. <laughs> but I don't take any responsibility of you being apprehended by the FBI for still a reasonable doubt. Pay for Hulu. Oh yeah, the title. Oh, what well, did you think about that? The, the title is Reasonable Doubt, and for each episode, they use a Jay Z song title. I still don't it's know stupid. why. Still don't know why. The songs aren't songs that's, that that are on the Reasonable Doubt album. They're just Jay Z songs, and they, you know, they did it on Luke Cage. So obviously, this Adrian Young guy has an affinity for rap. Well, he he produced a Ghost for the album too, but that's neither here nor there. So I guess that's what that's the thing he's going to do. Stop doing that. Unless you're doing the UGK album, then I won't be mad at it. I'm biased. So, but for the time being, yeah. So every episode is a Jay Z song title. But the series has nothing to do with Jay Z, New York, Beyonce, nothing, nothing, yeah, in, no, nothing connected to the Carter it. man. So I don't know why y'all did that. Stop being silly. So What's your music pick? <laughs> oh yeah, for the it's music pick from <laughs> DVDs, CDs, 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 Masterpiece, Charlie's Masterpiece, Angels, Charlie's Angel, Charlie's Angel, Charlie's Angel. Stealth. <laughs> Give us a music pick. Yeah, my recommendation is King. Um, it's made of of twin sisters, Paris and Amber Strother. Um, there was also a third member at one time um, when their first uh, album came out, Anita Bias. So she and those twin sisters are uh, on the debut album, which came out in 2016, uh, We Are King. But the twin sisters are Minneapolis-born, and they are Los Angeles-based. At this time, so it kind of goes with Thank this. You. I didn't hey, you look at you, you tying the concepts, connect <laughs> um, the concepts. But the album, debut album, it was Grammy nominated for Best Urban Contemporary Album of the Year. It was completely self produced, written, and performed um, by the group. And they're currently working on their next album. I'm hoping that it comes out in 2023. So if you haven't checked them out, check them out. I think I learned about them. I want to say it was Eric Roberson made a post, maybe Instagram. It was years ago. And for the longest, they only had maybe one or two songs on YouTube. But 2016, they finally uh, had a complete project. It was worth the wait, in my opinion. So check them out if you haven't. Um, you have any favorite tracks? Uh, I, I think Red Eye uh, is probably one of my favorite. Like you say, the Hey, obviously. Did you say that was one of the original cuts that they had? Hey, was that one of the original I songs remember the story and Supernatural, but Hey may have been Okay, maybe it was of... Supernatural. Then. One of those early songs, you know, because you played it out. This one, me and Steph were first dating, and she played it 
and played it and played it. Not a bad thing. So it's kind of a um It was worth the wait. It it was well, I say it was King has a special place uh for us because I mean we've been listening to it for the entirety of our relationship. So mm-hmm. uh so it's kind of a, a a soundtrack, if you will, to uh to our relationship. So it's I mean, I don't I don't have a problem. They took forever to, to release the C D. But it was worth it, was it. Good. and that's why we, if you you good. didn't see me shaking my head, yeah, I won't see that in twenty twenty three. It you took them, so? it took them seven years for the first one. Well, well, I guess this is seven years, huh? Twenty twenty three, maybe so, uh, maybe they'll but, complete uh, it. I'm hoping they will. Yeah, I like the uh, I like Red Eye. I like the uh, it's not on that album, but I like the you know Go Slow. It's on that Fela Kuti album, Fela Kuti uh, tribute album, whatever. Oh, I don't even God. know the name of it, but look that up. It's called Go Slow I, I by think, King. Uh, what was it? Is it Move or is it Robert That's, Glasper? What's it called? They have. I, I think they were featured on a Robert Glasper. Oh yeah, song, only a but, couple. They're on a couple of his songs. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah. They they Check they do out. features every now and again. They have one. I think didn't they have one with uh, with David Morrison? They do have one with David uh, Morrison. Yeah, that's another album. Maybe we'll go through that. Bus. Yeah, we'll put that on the next one, uh, yeah. David Morrison. But uh, yeah, check out King. It's going to be hard to find them. I hate their name. I'm just going to throw that out there because it's very hard to search for them. Because you're going to search. Get, we are King. We will get Martin Luther King. Uh, anything named King that's not the R and B album, you're going to keep getting hits for that. So be be aware. You you have to put in Black Women R and B King. In the Google, do a Boolean search in Google, and you can get it. But no, I, but you um, won't be disappointed once you find. No, you them. won't. If you hadn't heard the album, like I said, at this point, it's seven years old or six years old, going on seven years old. But it holds up. Great production. The what was what's the uh, producer's name? Is she uh, Paris? Twins. I'm really not sure if it, Paris I, or Amber. It's is one the of the two. One, she, yeah, the the, the one who does the uh the production. She is awesome. And you are correct about the Eric Robeson. Uh, I know I'm running over time. Eric Robeson uh, co-sign because he explained it. That's how, not necessarily how they got on, but they have been tr- st- trying to meet people. And they met him in the audience of some talk show. Hmm. I-, I can't remember which one. I don't want to tell the story wrong. And, and they were like, hey, hey, listen to this. They gave him a tape. And I guess he heard it. It was like, what am I hearing right now? Cause it's uh it's not necessarily synth heavy, but it's a uh it's synth and electronic. She does a lot of uh, yeah production, but they're really singing. Uh, Paris is the one. Uh, that's the producer. Well, I, I'm from what I gather, they all produce. But you see mm. her, you know, play on the keyboard. If it's the and, keyboard okay, yeah. or would you say synthesizer? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's a uh it's a different sound, and, and it's not it's not overproduced nonsense. It's it's very minimalist. So. Check it out if you're into any kind of good R and B, it'll it'll calm your soul and soothe you, at least to me. But that was it for uh, DVD, DVD, CDs, masterpiece, Charles Angel. Check out Reasonable Charles Doubt Charles on Charles Hulu Charles Charles and maybe ABC. Check out We Are King um, and their future features. You can just type them in and you'll probably get it on any streaming service, and they'll give you some good music and some good suggestions. I'm sure, but uh. That's it for this week. You That's got anything it. you to tell the folks? That's it. I went over. It's only three minutes. All right, You proud y'all. of me? I'm proud. I'm proud of you, too. <laughs> Till <laughs> next y'all. time, y'all. <laughs>